<laughs> the culture has seeped into you. Right. And it's not until the game's finished when people go, oh, I can't believe how you never panicked. And you're like, well, actually, we didn't panic. Right. You know, it's not... It's didn't, not we didn't even contemplate. It's not a conscious thing. It's a culture thing. Right. Most teams don't react that way. No. Most teams... No, well, they're... they're there are, very, there are very few teams that, that can create the culture mm. like that. You need great players, good characters, a calm and manager, standards. A calm and, manager, and a great right. ma yeah, yeah. manager, you know, big a, time. a calm manager who's big sort time. of been there and, and yeah. trusts his players. Listen, they got battered last year in Paris. Yep. They were on the canvas, they got up at nine. Right, yep. they got up at nine. Where, where did they get up against City then? <laughs> <laughs> City. <Sit, sit. laughs> <laughs> right, right, take a step <laughs> forward. <laughs> canvas on the floor. Canvas again on the floor. Picked themselves up. Got a bit of a going over in the final. Yeah. Even against a Liverpool side that were flying at the time, but won the game. It's in these players and this club's DNA. Right. It, it's not. It's, it's no coincidence it keeps happening. Uh, Gemma, one of the great moments, and, and we, we talked about this a lot last season when they're on this run, is Luka Modric at the, at the end celebrating with everyone. Like, it's his first big win. Like, his, his <laughs> love for this game at 37 must be so infectious for everybody else around him in the team. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, he, he, he mentioned he, he's in the, in the team of uh, his life. He loves Real Madrid. He's like he was born in Chamartin, just next to, to the Santiago Bernabeu. He feels it so much. And he's an animal competitive. He loves winning. He w loves doing it over and over again. And he loves, for example, remembering that last, last season, they, everyone was criticizing team him and, and Cruz and, and so much Real Madrid. No one gave a, a Real Madrid like one of the main candidates last season. And they did this over and over again and he enjoys it so much. So yesterday he was the, the star of the press conference and he said that like, um, I mean, la last season you were saying we were uh, dead. We had no more chance in the Champions League. You did the same this season after the... Uh, the, the World Cup, uh, and yeah, he recognized maybe uh, he rushed too much in coming back to the team because he's 37. I think sometimes he forgets that he's uh, 37 uh, and he wanted to come back just after the World Cup uh, and the physicality of himself and the team was not good enough. But I think after winning the club's World Cup, uh, they have that winning mentality back again and they, ha they have not that pressure of having to win because himself and all this team have already won everything and and they have done it so many times so they know they can do it and that's what it showed here in my back in Anfield uh, just in front of the court that they were two nil down but they just were patient they did their game they did no more mistakes and they managed to get five goals in Anfield actually uh, a three nil was the the, the worst uh, uh, defeat of uh, Liverpool in the European Champions League it was 2014 against Real Madrid, one is again three nil, uh, three goals different, two five against uh, Real Madrid. It's like they have some kind of trauma, and when they see Real Madrid, their legs start to to shake, it and they don't mentally believe they can beat Real Madrid. One more thing about Luka Modric: conversation, rumors going around, and his contract renewal. And I don't think it's a coincidence that things have been said by Carlo Ancelotti to the to the effect of. We're going to have to rest some of the guys. We're going to have to rotate because we have, we're in a moment in transition and yeah. players like Chuameni are going to get an opportunity and Camavinga are going to get an opportunity. And Florentino Perez, is he going to give a new deal to Luka Modric or not? Yeah. See, Florentino, I'll answer the question for you. <laughs> you need to give this guy a new contract. It, it's it, it, like that, that fifth goal is just so brilliant. Not only the run, but then just the perfect ball into Vinicius Jr. And... Um, Actually, what you were just talking about, a guy who's 37, you think he, he acts like a kid? Yeah. Did you see them all dancing after they scored yes. the goal? Yeah. I mean, all of them, they were like a bunch of schoolboys yeah. that, had, that had just won the cup as 10-year-olds. I mean, I don't know about you, son, but at 37, I couldn't run about like that. <laughs> 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 yes, son. <laughs>
couldn't do that in 27. <laughs> I couldn't do that in 27. <laughs> and then, of course, you've got the Vinicius Junior, you know, who there's so much excitement around this player, and we, we obviously see flashes, sometimes he frustrates. But it was interesting in the press conference afterwards, Jurgen Klopp was asked, is he one of the best players in the world? Jurgen Klopp went, yes. His translator went, see. Sí. <laughs> 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 just, just, and when you see him, like that first goal, out of nothing, really. Yeah. And, and that's, that's what puts you on that upper echelon of, of world-class well, players. He's just taking his game to the level that Real Madrid were hoping for, but, but were getting frustrated. But he was young, you know, and thinking back as well and about the disharmony in the dressing room with, I think it was him and Benzema, mm. right? Yeah. So that, I mean, when, when, when one of the world's best players, Karim Benzema, is heard saying, don't pass him the ball, that has to drain your confidence. Right. So to pick himself off the floor, dust all that down and get back to business. And then one of the things we talked about at the start of the season, could would he be able to go again? And clearly we're getting the answer. Is it 17 goals or something like that? Mm. So it's not just the wing play, the assess, the ball possession. It's the end product as well. And yeah, he's having a, a, a second brilliant season. And, and, and he's always talking, like Benzema clearly is like, it, it, it's mentoring him on the pitch. You can see it all the time, talking to Vinny. Yeah, and how Vinny affects the game, it's obvious to see in a 1v1 situation. It's obvious to see when he scores a goal or when he assists a goal. But the fact that he keeps coming time and time and time again, and certainly going to keep coming when you think about the fact that you're going against Trent Alexander-Arnold, he's saying, oh, goodness, I love me some of this, because you know there's going to be space he affects how Liverpool had to defend because now Fabinho has to get out there because now Joe Gomez has to get out there, right? So it's not only the fact that Alexander-Arnold is not defending Vinicius properly, it's how it affects everything else defensively for Liverpool and offensively for Real Madrid because Fabinho has to get out there, Joe Gomez has to get out there, it creates spaces in the middle where now that relationship with Karim Benzema where he drops underneath and now we're combining and now we're having all this possession in the attacking half. Vinicius Jr. right now, when he focuses and concentrates on playing the game and displaying his talent, the special talent that he is, he is world class. He is at an elite level. When he concentrates and focuses on fighting with everybody else, he comes back to the crowd. But when he's all about playing, there's no stopping him. You know, we, we're talking about Vinny, we're talking, talking about Modric, we're talking about Benzema. Yes, yeah. The other day, and last week, we were talking about Messi and Mbappe oh, yeah. and Neymar. Yep. You talk about the difference between a, three players in Real Madrid and PSG. Three in PSG who it's... Other than Messi, probably. It's me, 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 me. This three are actually helping each other. Right. Because all the things that Vinny's doing is pulling players away is leaving Benzema, who appreciates it, and who's leaving Modric, who appreciates it even more. So you've got three superstars, basically, and that's why Real Madrid are so good and why they can do what they did at Anfield, as opposed to three at PSG, who have a completely different outlook on the game. Uh, last words of this on you, to you, Gemma. How many have they won? 14? Is it going to be 15 for Real Madrid this season? I mean, you never know with uh, Real Madrid, uh, but I think last season nobody would point them as a, a not even a candidate at the the mm. very beginning and not, and not in the in the last sixteen and as a, as one of the main favorites. But you never know with this team. I mean, they have this uh, a strong mentality, especially when they play the Champions League. When they listen to the Champions League music, it's like they they turn into. Uh, something uh, they they put the competitive level in in another stage. So you can never say Real Madrid are not a candidate uh, with uh, this mistake last season. You can never forget that they already won 14. Uh, we will see. I mean, they are in in the last uh, eight. We can say that, uh, and they have that mentality. And I think that if they have to, uh, Ancelotti will pick uh, the Champions League ahead of La Liga. They already mm. done that. Uh, for example, the last weekend in El Sadar when he uh, uh, rotates the team to, to, to be ready for that uh, game, for this game and, and they did good. So, why not uh, done with this team and the Champions League? Anything can happen. I've seen that movie at least 14 times. <laughs>
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.